I'm really excited to be here in the laboratory because I get to know these talented, amazing people from different countries that inspire me so much and I feel that I have so much to share that just coming together I'm sure will inspire so many new horizons that I'm just so grateful. I have been working for the last three years with uh, families from disappeared persons in Mexico throughout the country and it's such a delicate situation, painful, complex, that you might think how can you bring a clown into, into this context? And it's been really surprising on a personal level to me how uh, mothers and fathers and families are opening uh, their creativity to be able to promote human rights and, and, and to make, create movements uh, from the disappeared ones with creativity and many times with a smile. So to me that's like a miracle, you know? Um, so I invite us all as humans to, to dare to, to open creative space and to, to acknowledge and embrace our reactivity through painful experiences, but just know that we are all able to transform our reactivity into creativity if we come together in community and, and open our hearts through humor. I think when using humor, it's essential to be respectful with yourself, to be aware of your boundaries, of your limits, to, to stay truthful and respectful, transparent and honest to what you are conveying and, and communicating, and also not to take for granted anything about the other person. Just stay humble and open and breathe your audience, breathe the person that is in front of you. And from that space of openness and humbleness and listening, deep listening, then you put your humor. So you're respectful with yourself and you're respectful with other people. And that's where grace come into action, comes into action. And that's when there's a potential for transformation.